all right youtube welcome to my channel this is lucky lefty here i know you guys haven't seen me in a minute i have been just doing the voiceover parts of my videos but today i decided that i was going to get up wipe my face <laughs> and do a little video intro for you guys because um my subscribers are growing and you guys are commenting and things like that and i wanted you guys to see who you were talking to because sometimes you guys leave me comments and say um man 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 or dude or stuff like that and that's cool you know I'm fine with that I'm cool with whatever you want to say I just wanted it to be clear that I am a female I'm a girl gamer so and a girl runner of this YouTube channel so if you do like this content it's girl power all the way um, so yeah I just wanted to stop by in this video and tell you guys I'm gonna change some things up also as well with how I'm doing videos for Red Dead Redemption 2 I have completed the entire game um, and now I'm going back and I'm playing the game again and I'm looking for things that I wish I would have knew beforehand that I can give you guys who are just starting out the game or maybe you're just getting it or getting it late, don't have it yet and things you need to know or whatnot. So I'll be putting those videos out as well as I'm going to be doing post game videos where instead of how most YouTubers do it where they um, tell you like one thing you might want to find in this area because the, the map in Red Dead 2 is so expansive that I noticed that you get tired of running all over the map trying to find something, a secret item or something hidden or try something out or maybe you watch the YouTube video and then you could have really just been in the, you could have found three things in the same area versus having to go back and forth at different periods of time. So it's kind of time consuming and that's what I've noticed in playing the game because of the map being so expensive. So in my future videos, uh, my videos moving forward, I'm going to try to give you guys more videos where you can find multiple things in one area, one set location. So you don't have to go back and forth unless you want to. So actually in this video, well, we're going to be talking about this island, these islands that I discovered over by Rhodes. Well, not that I discovered that they're on the map. Um, but I actually got over there with the boat and if any of you have tried this the boat thing um, can be a little complicated So I'm going to show you guys in this video how to steal a boat without getting a bounty Or you can steal a boat and get a bounty whichever way you would uh, You know however you want to do it. You could be honorable or dishonorable. It's up to you. So um, But also in this video I'm going to show you everything that I found on the island in the two days um, that I've I explored over there so that you guys can go over there and get whatever it is that you want to get or if you're looking for it, green iguanas for the trapper because you need it for an outfit you'll see that in this video if you're you know looking for the pirates hat the hidden pirates hat that's in this video and I'm also going to give you guys a list after I finish this video part this intro it's going to give you a list with the timestamps of where you can find it in my videos so I'm trying to make this YouTube thing a little bit more convenient for you and your time so all I'm asking for you guys if you could just like subscribe comment for the convenience I will not be doing these video intros for all of them but this is just to let you guys know this is how my videos will be starting without probably me being in all of them usually it'll just be my voice but I wanted to say hi to everybody because it's been a minute I don't think I've been in front of the camera since my last GTA 5 video I just find it a little bit easier for me to produce videos when I don't have to get in front of the camera so uh, if you do want me in front of the camera more often you know let me know I don't know if I agree to it but you know let me know um, and make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, make sure you hit you know you like you comment follow me on uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram lucky lefty l-u-c-k-i-i -I, lefty l-e-f-t-y or you can go to lucky lefty.com or you can um uh, follow me on Xbox or my gamer tag is lucky lefty space com c o m so there's a space it's like dot com but with a space because you can't put a dot in a gamer tag so without further ado you guys we're gonna go into this island and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys everything I found on this island and I hope you appreciate being able to get everything at once and not having to go through coming back and forth all right I will catch you guys next time make sure you subscribe.
All right, you guys, it's time to get into this video. We're going to get into this narration part of the video. First things first, you need to get a boat. So I found two ways to get a boat over to get you to these islands. You can go over by Flatneck Station, but as you can see, it is a long little trip. So make sure you have your tonics for stamina, because while you're doing it, you're going to lose stamina. And you want to be taking tonics as you're taking this journey to the island. But there's, I time stamped it. It was around 1155, Dakota River. And there was two boats sitting there, and you, I didn't get a bounty. Like, so I was able to get in. Um, or you can go to Rhodes, and Rhodes is closer, a shorter little ride. But you're going to get a bounty because you're going to have to kill somebody to get the boat or steal their boat, and they're going to report you for theft. So you guys, you know, choose whichever way or whatever's closer for you to how to get over to these three little islands. So I'm going to show you guys right here where I came up on the boat on this dock right here by Rhodes. Came up on the dock. There was a boat sitting there. I was thinking maybe I'm not going to get a bounty. Maybe not. You know, people sitting there. Oh, but yeah. Maybe it decides to go left. I thought I was doing all right. But if you are a, you know, dishonorable player or, you know, I don't like to say dishonorable because they try to make you dishonorable for anything in this. But say you need a ride. They didn't give us a boat, so you got to get one. But um, a clear, clearly you're going to get like a witness and you're going to... You're just going to have to, you know, escape it. Just swim far out. The issue with this part of stealing the boat is that the bounty hunters can come over to the island. So while you're over in this peaceful island, the bounty hunters will show up. That's cool if you want to do it. It's usually like three at a time. Bounty hunters, if you want to kill them over there on the island, but you can still get more bad score points. So you choose what you would like to do. But the other way, if you go the other way over by Flatneck Station, the bounty hunters won't, shouldn't come after you as long as you don't kill anybody to get the boat. So yeah, so my first stop over here, I got over to this first island and I found Burdock Root and Common Bull Rush. And not just a little bit, a lot. Like, okay, so there's an Herbalist Challenge that comes up that asks you to, I think it's Herbalist Challenge number seven or six or something, and you have to make special... A special tonic or some special potent miracle tonic or something like that and it needs a lot of burdock root it needs a lot of yar euro and yarrow and burdock root and i think tobacco so i was having a hard time i mean i found burdock root but i only found it in like threes but i noticed when i got over to this island that the island was full of burdock root and also a common bull rush if you need common bull rush those are the uh, those are the only two pants I found so just walk around the island and if you need it for the herbalist challenge it's all right there the weapons you're gonna need for this island there's a bunch of animals so I would suggest that you bring the varmint rifle and the bow because there's a lot of animals that you have to kill to get the three stars. You have to kill them with a bow using small game arrows. So you have to craft those. You need to be prepared before you go over to the island because you're not going to have your horse. So if you get over there and you want to kill something, then you realize, oh man, I got, I'm stuck. I don't, I don't have what I need to kill this animal properly. So this was a waste of time. So make sure you know what you're going to go hunt. Also, you may need the Lancaster because I found foxes over there too. And, I mean, the repeater. I found foxes over there, so you may want to use um, a repeater for that. So yeah, for the foxes, you want to have the Lancaster repeater. Um, also, if you're coming this way, it's definitely going to be a longer uh, uh, row. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, it does, it's, it's free. So, also, food. Make sure that you already have food stowed over there. Because there's going to be a part that comes up when you're over there and you're trying to hunt animals and if that's what you're trying to do, you can do it in peace. There's no other, there's no big animals over there. There's no predators that's going to try to kill you or anything like that. So when you're over there, make sure you have food stowed. So just in case your character is losing stamina or something like that, you have um, food over there. So I'm going to fast forward this swim, I mean with this row because it is long. Make sure you have tonics for the stamina. Um, a tonic, a stand of a tonic if you come this way because it's a long row to get over there. So yeah, this is the uh, middle island, the bigger island of the three, um, of the three, I think this one is, yeah, it's the middle one. So this is where you want to be. Same island that you find the pirate's hat on. So you'll find different things over here and if your boat comes up like I brought my boat up and I was like oh man I might be stuck but uh, I got back in and it started sliding down so that's what you want to do have when you're uh, over on this island 
So I'm gonna show you guys like what I found over here. There we go. I saw a snapping alligator. They they use the bow to kill, but I don't think you could be that close to them because it messes up there. Uh, if you're that close to them when you kill them, it still messes. It won't give you a perfect pelt. So yeah, I did that. And I don't know because it's supposed to be killed with a bow. But if you're looking for perfect pelts, you, you're gonna have to make sure you look at them when you're pointing the weapon. Look at the stars on the animal. Like that's why I didn't kill that iguana. That was over there because it was uh two stars. I try not to kill stuff that's two stars. Uh, it's kind of pointless. Uh, unless you just need it for food in your camp. But see, that's the boat with the pirate's hat in it. So I came over here twice. The first time was specifically just to come get the pirate's hat. And then I found all this other stuff on this island. So, I, so the second time, um, this will be the second time I came over. And I didn't either. I already had the pirate's hat, but I'll show you guys where to get it. The good, the bad, the ugly. ugly, ugly. Alright, so like I said, we're still on this middle island over here. Um, and the pirate's hat is in that, uh, I guess, crash ship, wreck ship that you guys see. So, um, either way you can come and it's this middle island. Well, it's not kind of the middle. It's a large one that looks like a middle island. That's where you want to come. Exactly where I'm at is where the pirate's hat is in the shipwreck. I was rowing earlier and I looked over and I saw the ship. So, I just went ahead and going to fast forward some of the rowing but this is when I got over here and I saw that there were originally got over here and there were crabs and I saw the green iguana and I got over here and I didn't have the right guns so I was like tearing animals up wasn't making anything good so then I was like oh man I'm gonna have to come back because I don't have the right guns on me a lot of green iguanas crabs snakes muskrat um, foxes and you're by yourself on a private island good place to chill and hunt but yeah you go into the boat and I will use the eagle eye just tap your left and right thumbstick in so you can get stuff highlighted um, and see what you can open open that first case Pirates Rum, it's really good for uh, XP. So if you need, if you're not all the way maxed up to like maxed out, or if you're not on like level eight on your course, um, you can use Pirates Rum to give you some more experience points. Then you go through this little area, and the hat is sitting right there. And there you go, tada! You have the pirate's hat on this island. So now you got iguanas crab, pirate hat, and you're not being bothered, and you, if you took the no bounty way, you're not being bothered by anybody. Next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys uh, all the animals that I found. So this is just a picture of the island with all the carcasses that I had on it from just being by myself. The animals don't stand a chance when it's just you and nothing else the best part about this is that there's birds on this island, uh, island so if you need the bow and you need the um, special game arrows or the small game arrows you can kill the birds craft and craft small game arrows without starting a fire so you can just go into your um, into your uh, satchel and craft small game items without without uh needing to leave so that's good because a lot of the animals take a bow to kill like the sn uh snakes um the muskrat or the uh with the crabs something like that so you don't really have to need any like any real extra equipment uh and then you just choose if you want to bring the varmint rifle or the uh lancaster repeater i would say you're probably gonna have to come back if you're looking to get all the animals on this because you can only bring two types of guns like that for your back also if you are trying to get the iguana and you're like oh I only see a bunch of two stars put down herbivore bait herbivore bait 
and just kind of just stand there and all the iguanas will start heading your way you'll get a three star to come out like that's how i got this one i just sat down herbivore bait and i got a three star because for one of the outfits in the trapper you need two perfect iguana skins and then you also another outfit you need i think two muskrats and this was actually the only place where i saw the muskrats since i've been um, exploring in the game but uh, I killed it, and then I killed it near the water, and then I went to get in the water. It was too far in the water, and it started drowning me. So, yeah, there's a little fiasco over there, but there are muskrats over here. If you stay all the way into the nighttime. Also, snakes. There's a challenge where you have to kill, uh, not a challenge, but I think it's maybe, I don't know what it is, but one of the things says that you need 10 perfect snake skins. If you're like me and you hate snakes, I hate the way snakes look on this game. I hate the way, I hate snakes in real life. I don't want nothing to do with it, but the little wa water snakes, I feel a little bit better about it. The problem is killing them perfectly. You guys wouldn't believe how long it told, took me to get one perfect one, but it's not because there's not snakes on this island. Um... It's just that keeping the bow steady, I don't know what that, what they're trying to make you do for that. But there are like three or four different types of snakes in the water. And you can actually go in that water and get closer to it. So um, if you want to kill, get the little tin snake kill, um, this is a good place to do it where you don't have to worry about them jumping out like you do when you're on your horse. Don't like that part at all. So at nighttime, I noticed I was over here all night messing with those snakes and I heard like coyotes and I was like what is that and there I found a wolf but then I realized I don't have my Lancaster repeater so I had that the right weapons for the iguanas and the crabs but I have to come back and get the foxes so if you need fox fur you can get it on this island as well alright so crafting and sleeping you're gonna need to do this but like I was trying to see if I slept over there or did a fire type of crafting so this is why I told you to bring your own food go ahead and craft the food you want and then stow it in your satchel um, before you go over to the island because if you sleep or you craft with something that you need a, uh, a fire for they are gonna knock you back over to the island. so now you have to start the whole boat process over again so do not sleep over on the island and make sure you have food when you go over there. So they landed me right back at the dock when um, I did the crafting sleeping thing. So I was just kind of walking around trying to figure out where they landed me and what all I had to do. And then this happened. You guys let me know because I haven't even heard this. I tried to Google it, didn't see what was going on. I was over on the island for three days, came back over here around noon, and then this happened. What the hell? You guys let me know. Alright, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Make sure you stay tuned to my channel so that you can get my weekly, daily, uploaded videos, gaming videos. I'm thinking about adding poker to this channel. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys want a tutorial on how to play poker? I play poker in my real life. I love poker. But right now on my channel, we got GTA 5, we got Red Dead Redemption 2, and we also have Forza Horizon 4, some videos on there. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the buttons. Okay, just hit all the buttons. Like, subscribe, comment, notifications. Let's communicate. And um, enjoy, and I will catch you guys next time.